Uh, this is Osiris once again, and we're going to do a quick video on how to automatically load your NVIDIA overclocks on Linux. So thanks to Rebel Nugget and Expander69, uh, they pointed out the fact that I didn't go over how to automatically set your overclocks after every reboot. So if you watched my last video, we, we went over how to set NVIDIA overclocks and the fan speed. But when you reboot, those all get reset back to zero. So right now we're going to do a little quick startup script that's going to go ahead and put our settings in every time we reboot our computer automatically. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your text editor. Most of y'all should probably have gedit or something similar. And we're going to put in this information. Um, I'll put this information on the screen and I'll put it down in the description for easy copy and pasting. So let's go over what the script is. Uh, so here at the top, the set fan speed, uh, whatever, whatever your fan speed you want it to be uh, running at, 40%, 60%, 50%, whatever it may be. Just go down here to this line right here and change this number. So if you want it to be 30%, just put 30. If you want it to be 60%, put 60. It's that simple. Uh, I don't have a fan on my GP because it's it's on a water block. So I'm going to comment it out. So if you don't want a fan or you don't want these overclocks in the script, you can just comment it out or actually you can just delete it. So let's go over the bottom part. This is where you're going to set your your core speed, your your GPU core speed, and your memory speed. Um, so remember, once again, we, we went over this in the last video. These are your offsets, not your actual clock speed. So if you want your clock speed to be 1200 and it's by default 1000, you need to put the, the offset. So if you want it to be 1200, you'd put 200. Uh, if you wanted it to be 1400, you put 400, which is what I'm going to put. If you wanted it to be 1400 and you put 1400 here, it would go from 1400 plus 1000 being 2400. And I'm sure that's going to cause you some issues, so don't do that. Make sure it's the difference, the offset. Same with the memory clock. Uh, I'm just going to put 100 here for now because I haven't actually tested and see where I can get my maximum memory. So for now, I'm just going to put 100. Uh, and that's really all you have to do. Uh, now you want to save it, put it somewhere where you remember it, give it a name. I'll call this NVIDIA Overclock. This is the important part. Make sure the file extension is .sh. And you'll notice the color save. will change because it's now a shell script. And just close it. Now you're going to want to open up your file browser navigate to where you save the file right click it properties permissions and down here at the bottom where it says execute allow executing files as a program go ahead and uh, do that and that'll allow you to execute it now we want to test it out to make sure it actually works so open up your terminal navigate to where you save the file in the terminal I'll save mine under documents uh, ls to make sure it's there and I can see it and video overclock that shell now if it's an executable file it will be um, should be a different color depending on whichever terminal that you're using um, so to actually test it out you're gonna put period forward slash and the name of the file so Nvidia overclock oops overclock dot sh it did not kick back any errors and it gave me, uh, and it changed exactly what I wanted uh, in these values right here. So 400 and 100, just like we stated in the text file. Uh, so it works. So you can close that. And depending on your desktop, this might be uh, different. But in Unity and the, uh, GNOME, you should have a startup applications. Open up your startup applications. Add. We'll call this NVIDIA Overclocks. Find where you save the file, and mine's right here. And you don't have to put a comment, but I'll put a comment saying what it is actually. And we're gonna say startup script to automate NVIDIA overclocks. 
and add. That's it. That's all you have to do. So, uh, once again, thanks to Expander69, who has a YouTube channel. You should go check out his channel. I'll leave the link in the description. And thanks to Rebel Nuggy for pointing out the fact that I missed this portion of the tutorial in the last part where you cannot. This is the automated. So, if you don't do this, every time you boot your computer, it will have the default settings again. So, thanks to them. Once again, this is Osiris PC Pam, and I'm out. Uh, my thermal settings. Uh, under your GPU, there's a there's an entry called thermal settings, and it'll have your.